In this video, we're going to talk about creating polygons. It is part of the editing network section from ICM basic tutorials. Um, so polygons can be created on the geoplan view or the grid view. First, we're going to talk about how to create polygons on the geoplan. So we want to ensure a network is open on the geoplan. So I'm going to use this Langley network TUT as an example. After you open the uh, network on the geoplan, you can select this drop down menu um, and then select polygon. And then click on this new object button. And then you can see that your cursor uh, changed. Um, and then you can click on the uh, location where you want your polygons to be. And then start to draw the polygons. If you want to delete one of the points, uh, you can simply click on the uh, backspace key on your keyboard and you can see that the last uh, point will be deleted. To finish off a polygon, you can simply double click and then the new polygon dialog is going to show up and then you can give it a, this polygon uh, ID and you can select uh, what type of the polygon you Want to create. Here I'm just going to click on this polygon and you can click on OK and as, and as you can see uh, the new polygon is created here and the property sheet for this new polygon is also um, showing up and then you can edit the uh, properties for this newly created polygons. Okay so um, next we're going to talk about how to create the polygons on the grid view. Um, we want to first delete this polygon we just created. Um, so I'm just going to select this and then click on delete selection. OK, so first we're going to go to the grid view. Uh, we can click on this uh, grid view um, icon here and then select new polygons window to open the um, polygon grid. And then you can select which type of the polygons you want to uh, create. And uh, you can go to that correct uh, tab. Here I want to create a polygon. So I, I will just go to this polygon tab. And um, after you click on this tab, you will see this uh, grid window here. And then you can see there is a star uh, icon on the left side of this row. This is uh, the uh, new um, polygon row. So you can just go to this row and then try to uh, type in something on the ID column. And then um, after you click on, um, after you type in the ID, you can click on anywhere in this um, grid view and you can see this uh, test uh, polygon is created. You can um, add it uh, the attribute in the in the um, in the grid view, or you can simply double click on this row and then bring out the property sheet for this polygon. Okay, so um, this is how to create the um, polygon in the grid view. Um, so we can just click on this undo to delete the polygons we just created. So next, we're going to talk about polygon example. So we're going to illustrate how to use polygon tools on our network examples and show a few other actions that can be performed on a polygon. So first, we want to open the Langley catchment area resolve network. So I'm going to close the net uh, Langley network TUT that we just opened. And then we go to tutorial model group. And then uh, under this Langley network TUT, network, we can see that there is a Langley area result to UT network. And then we want to open this. And then we want to uh, display the map background map. So to do that, we can go to uh, GIS layer control and then add the map from this GIS layer control uh, dialog. But since we already have a layer list um, map C uh, created from our last tutorial, we can um, simply drag this 
a layer list to this um, geoplan to open the uh, background map. Next, we're going to zoom in to the southwest side of the network. So we're going to open, zoom in to this specific area. As you can see, um, it is matching our uh, example here. So next, we're going to add a polygon. Uh, we want to add the polygons for the resumed area. And this is the area we want, we want to resume. Of, um, click on this drop down menu and then select polygon and then click on this new object and then we want to uh, draw a polygon um, to, for this resolve area so um, i want to use i can use the snap tool to snap to the existing subcatchment first And here we want to um, include um, all of this resolve area. Click on this. Try to include all of the areas here. So And then we want to call this um, polygon resolve area. And then the, um, the type is going to be polygon. And then click, click on OK. As you can see, um, this polygon is created for you. And then we can uh, enter result under this category property sheet. And then we can use this uh, select tool to select this polygon. And then if you click on here, um, you will see that uh, there's a multiple selection uh, dialog. You can click on this resolved area polygon to select the polygon. And next, we're going to use the Edit Object Geometry tool to change the polygon boundary to include node 4462201 and then the link 4462201.1. So um, to do that, we can just click on this Edit Object Geometry. And then after you click on this Edit Object Geometry, you can click on this polygon and you can see uh, the vertices for this polygon and then you can simply uh, drag the vertices to, to edit the shape of the polygon and then you can also um, hit control key and then click on one of the uh, lines of your polygon and then you can see you can like add a, a vertices um, for your polygon here and if you add an unnecessary vertices you can hit alt and then click on this node to delete that um, vertices. After we um, added the polygon geometry, we can change the value in user text one uh, to text, so um, so that all of the nodes in this polygon will have the same user text one. Um, to do that, we can first um, go to the selection menu and then click on this select object in selected polygons. And you can see uh, all of the objects that within this polygon is selected. Um, and then we can go to selection again and then choose selection operations. And then you can select adjust selected values. And then uh, in this adjust selected network values, uh, we can choose nodes for network objects and then fields to be user text one. And then we can type uh, test in the adjustment value. And then we can hit OK. And then uh, 
in the pop-up warning, we can select yes. And then you can see that um, the user text one for all of the notes within um, this polygon is changed to be te test. And now we want to um, copy our um, rezoned area to a new network. Uh, first, we want to go back to the tutorial um, model group. And then we want to create a network called rezoned area in the Langley uh, catchment study model group. So we can right click on this model group and then click on new uh, InfoWorks and then click on InfoWorks network and then um, give it a name called the result area. And then hit OK. And next we want to ensure that uh, all of the nodes that we selected have uh, links connected and then all of the uh, subcatchment is draining to the nodes. Um, so we, want, we basically want to ensure that the connectivity of our selection is good. To do that, we can go to selections and then refine selection. And then we want to uh, check select nodes, which are at either end of the select link. And then we want to check select subcatchments, which drinks to the drinks to the selected nodes. We want to also select nodes, which uh, selected subcatchments drinks to. So, and then we can click on OK, and you can see that all of the um, uh, model elements that uh, satisfy the uh, criteria is uh, going to be uh, selected. And then we can go to Edit, and then choose Copy Objects. And then we want to open this uh, Rezone Area Network. And then we want to uh, go to uh, edit again and then select paste append objects. And then you can see that um, all of the objects that were selected on this network got pasted into this new network. And then we can uh, right click on the result area and then choose commit changes and then choose OK. And then um, in this uh, following scenarios have not been success successfully validated. Pop-up window, we can click no, and then, uh, we, can, and then we can see that the result area is uh, committed. Um, and then we want to delete the result area from our old network. To do that, we can click on this tab to go back to the Langley area result TOT network. And then we can go to selections, selection options, and then delete all selected objects. Or you can uh, click on this um, icon, delete all selected objects. Here, uh, it's gonna give you the same results. Okay, after we um, delete the um, unresolved area, we can um, right click and then uh, commit changes and then click OK and then choose no. Okay, so that concludes this training.